0% financing and we'll just add it to your bill. Start saving today. It only makes sense. The City of Dublin Natural Gas. Hi, I'm Christy Sims with Barry Walker Insurance Agency right here in Dublin, Georgia, your nationwide agent. And I want to invite you to come by 1009 Bellevue Avenue and let's talk saving you some money. If you're like me and my family, we need to save as much money as we can. And with insurance rates going up everywhere, it's time to take out that policy and let's get it reviewed. So call me now at 272-6010 and put me to work putting more money in your family's pocket. I'm Christy Sims and I want to work for you. Always remember, Nationwide is on your side. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Stan Smith and I'm here at the Shamrock Bowl on the campus of Dublin High School where tonight the Dublin Fighting Irish will host the Blakely County Royals in a Region 2AA big game. Every game is big from here on out. Right now the captains are on the middle of the field for the Dublin Fighting Irish and the Blakely County Royals. Captains for the Dublin Fighting Irish Number 54, Bruce Guyton. Number 10, Rodriguez Martin, the quarterback. And then number 57, Jaden Deriso. I'm joined now by Crather Nelson. And we will be with you tonight to watch this exciting Georgia High School Association football game from the Shamrock Bowl. Sorry to run late, Stan. I've got a trick needed when the weather goes gets bad, acts up over. I understand, and that's fine. No, I'm kidding. I don't. <laughs> we got water here. Nice night for football. We've had a little rain. You're right. It's cooler. And here come the Irish. Come the Irish. Walking out on the field. First. Here come the Royals. With a mascot of some sort. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here about to kick off. Region opener for both teams, I assume. I know it is for well, Dublin, no. I assume it is for Blackburn. Region home opener for Dublin. That's right, because they did play East Lawrence last night. Came off a resounding win right. last night right. at East Lawrence, 53 right. to I nothing. I went brain dead there for a second. won the toss, or actually Dublin won the toss and deferred to the second half. They'll be kicking off. So we're about to get started, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, the field here at the Shamrock Bowl is in top-rate condition. Here we go, Jacquez, Jacquez Evans. Evans to kick off for Dublin. And we're underway, ladies and gentlemen. Kick off to the right, comes down inside the 15. Blackley County got it, breaks, they break loose all across the 35. 
And for the Blessing County Royals, three, I believe, Stan, for them. that was number three. First and ten Royals, first and ten. And I'm looking, Nakeem, Nakeem Farrow. Now he's their, he's their good running back. So we're gonna see a lot of Nakeem tonight. Did a nice job on that kick return, getting it down to the 36. Blackley will be first and 10 from there to start the game. Zach Lassiter, the quarterback, number seven. Hand off to Farrow, he's down. Behind the line, actually, or maybe no gain at best for him. He nice lost job about a yard defense. on that, I yeah, think, Craig. I thought he did. I think Evans was in on that tackle or led the charge. One or two of his teammates along with him. Let's call it second and long 10. The ball's just outside the 30, so really 10 and a half, I guess you'd say. A little bit of a high snap, he hands it off to him again, breaks loose for a few yards. Across the 40, be out to the 41, it'll be third and about five. Dr. Jackson Fordham is a proud sponsor of local high school football on TV 35. Dr. Fordham is located in his new office at 204 Fairview Park Drive. His experienced staff is ready to serve you today. So call and make an appointment at 272-4051. For all your dental needs, count on Dr. Jackson Fordham. Blakely runs a hurry up offense. They got trips left. One man in the slot. Look for Lassiter to throw the ball. They throw an awful lot. In the shotgun. And he does drop back. And it's off, incomplete. Yeah, off target with his throw, he appeared to have one of his wide receivers open, I believe that was uh, number four, Bailey. Looked like he might have been open, but Laster's throw was off target. He had a little bit of heat on him. Left-handed yeah. quarterback. Yeah. Stacy Sharp for Dublin came off the Dublin's right side, was applying some pressure, and it may have affected the throw. Zion Washington, deep Washington, for Dublin. Yeah, back just outside near the 35 yard line. Good snap. Good kick, he'll catch it at about the 31. Makes one man miss, coming to his right. Good he block. Got some open field, good blocking. And he's, yeah, he'll have a face mask on the end of that play. Washington was cutting back up field and a Blackley County man made the tackle from behind number 56 for Blackley, I believe that's Reed. But uh, unfortunately for them, he grabbed the face mask as he made the tackle. So Dublin have excellent field position stand for their first, start their first drive. That's going to be a big face mask sure all is. the way down to the 40-yard line of yep. the Blackley County Royals. So Dublin will have excellent field position, Craker. Yeah. Nice return. You tack on the penalty. Dublin's in great shape to start their first drive. Nose of the ball sitting on the Royal 40-yard line. Martin, the quarterback, is off. The Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, I, I thought he, he was not down. He was down. Got a Let's couple more yards. Full yardage on that. I don't think he was down. About a nine yard gain, Craig. Yep. That's Greg Jones. I'm going to get it right tonight. I'm going to get Jones and Mitchell. I'm going to call them right tonight. Inside handoff to Cooley. Yep. Oh no, keeper. Oh, great ball fake right there. 
Great ball fake by Martin right there, Stan. I thought for sure Cooley had the ball and half of Blackley County's defense did too. And He's Martin all, goes by the nickname yeah. of Dreek. Dreek. And the other night on the coaches show, coach kept calling him Dreek Rollins, who was a former player for the right. Dublin Fighting Irish, went on to play college football. Mm -hmm. I remember him. Ball on the Blackley 15 yard line, Dublin's first and 10. There's a pitch to Mitchell. He'll take it down near the 10. They're gonna mark it at about the 12 yard line. Lost his helmet, so he'll have to come out for a play. Mitchell comes out for a moment, goes back in. Martin goes in with a play for the Irish. Terry and Carswell, I believe, came in for, for him. In fact, that's a handoff to Carswell, breaks it off to the left. He'll go in standing. Carswell goes in for the touchdown. Great blocking on the left side of Dublin offensive line. Got Carswell free. He made a nice run, kept his feet right there, ran through a couple of would-be tackles for the touchdown. Dublin leads 6 nothing with 8.35 to go in the first quarter. With the point after still pending. Quite the Irish have done as they've done all year. Got off to a good opening drive. Sure was. They took advantage of great field position, went right down and scored pretty easily, actually. And on the board with 835 left in the first quarter. Six to nothing. A little bit of a high snap, but it's good. Yep, Devin's got the kick up good. So with 8.35 to go in the first quarter, your score from the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin 7, Blackley County nothing. We got savings to cheer about here at Dublin Nissan. Dublin Nissan has Sentra's discounted to as low as $15,985. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. Real people steal people. Professionals demand dependability on the job. Homeowners expect long-lasting value. And servicing steel dealers provide friendly, knowledgeable support. Right now, pick your power, fuel, or battery, and get a great value on a steel blower. Starting at just $129.95. Get yours now, only at your local steel dealer. Visit steeldealers.com or search STIHL. Cullen Supply and Engine Service, your steel dealer at 826 South Harris Street in Sandersville and 910 East Jackson in Dublin. All right, we're back. As the Irish line up for their second kickoff of the evening, Crather and I want to remind you that at the end of tonight's game, the City of Dublin Natural Gas Department will present trophies to the most valuable defensive and offensive player for the Dublin Fighting Irish. So stay tuned in for that immediately following the game. Evans to kick off again for Dublin. Kick grabbed on about the 30 yard line. Nice tackle by Cooley right there. Player retreats, that was number six for the Royals. Rozier, Justin Rozier. Ball will be at the 20, spot at the 26 yard line, Blackley County be first and 10 from there with 8.29 to go in the first quarter. I'm watching that Blakely Royals team come out. I noticed Torino Davis, number one. He's got to be eight foot tall. <laughs> he's a good looking he wide receiver. He is a tall look, wide yeah, receiver. He looks like he's at least 6'3", if not bigger. There's a fake handoff by Lassner. He throws it out to his right. Well covered by Dublin. He just had nowhere to go with that ball, Stan. He had to basically throw it away. It looked like there was a mix up in the backfield yeah, between was. Uh, Lassiter and number three, Farrow. Yeah, they weren't on the same page as far as whether that was gonna be a handoff or not. And 
Laster just had to throw the ball away. So Blackley will be second and 10 from their 26. Laster throw it again. Intercepted. It is intercepted by number six, number six. Strickland. Strickland. Right and he takes it back down to about the 23, 23 yard line, 24 yard line. Tyler Strickland on the interception. And it will be first and 10 for the Dublin Fighting Irish on a quick turnover on that, on that side. And just like we said a minute ago, Stan, how good the field position was on the first drive, it's even better after that interception. Dublin will start on the 24 yard line of Blackley County. Nothing offensive coordinators love more than short fields. That mascot that they're toting around on the Dublin sideline must be a royal because they keep kicking it. Yeah, they do. He's loose again on the quarterback keeper. Touchdown, Irish. Wow. Yep. Martin again. Steps inside, shoots the gap, and he's gone. Stand like you don't have enough to worry about with the stable of running backs Dublin's got to shuffle in and out. Martin is a great athlete at quarterback and always a threat to run the ball. He's got his second touchdown of the night. The Irish look to convert this point after to make it 14-0. In about 31 seconds, the Irish have now scored 13 points. I should say his second big run of the night. Actually, it was Carswell who scored the first touchdown, but Martin had a big run to set it up. That was a low kick, might have been Partially tipped, no good. So with 8.04 to go in the first quarter, your score from the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin 13, Blackley County nothing. Every morning, you're up at dawn to take care of the land you love. So are we. That's why Kubota dealers are the best at understanding what you need and sending you home with the perfect machine for the job. We know more than equipment. We know you. Freeman's Lawn and Garden. Call us at 272-2198. I'm Stan Cooey, the headmaster at Trinity Christian School. Academically, we've got great teachers here, great staff, employees. That'll do everything to educate your child. Standardized tests are above the state and uh, national average. Graduates are able to get into the schools they want with the Hope Scholarship intact. Uh, we talk about building character and a disciplined and, and safe environment at Trinity. Most of all is that we're going to provide a spiritual background for your child to learn about Jesus Christ. You know, we have chapel for all ages. If you've got questions about Trinity that you want to come out and uh, see me, I'll be glad to meet with you or Pam Horn, our admissions director and we'll be glad to meet with you and sit down and give you a tour. Come out and see us and we'll uh, tell you about Trinity. All right, 8.04 left in the first quarter and for the third time tonight, <laughs> Dublin will kick the ball off again. Evans is getting a workout just on kickoffs. All right, here we go. High kick over yeah, to the to far side left, of the field. Caught on the run around the 20 by number two. Nice tackle out near the 34. That was Hayes for Blackley County on the return. He caught that ball on the run stand and got up. Across the 30, out to the 34. Blackley will be first and 10 from there, trailing 13 nothing. Arkenzio Hayes. Arkenzio. And he called that ball on a dead run. He sure did. Yeah. Blackley with two men out on each side. Last oh, quarterback. great play. Farrow yep. goes down, Farrow but there is a big penalty loss. flag. Farrow, no face mask. Farrow was pointing to his face mask. Yeah. I'm thinking this one may be inadvertent. That was Linton staying on the tackle. He made a great play of three or four yards behind the line. Unfortunately, he grabbed the face mask. 
Nope, they're gonna mark it off a big one. So it'll yeah. come all the way up to almost the 45 yard line. The nose of the ball sitting on the Royal 45 and that is the Royals first first down yeah. of the night. Say, on course, the penalty. That's an automatic first down. All right. Lassiter lined up in the shotgun. Blackley with trips left as Lassiter brings them up. And now his running back off in motion, catches the ball behind the line, makes one man miss out to the 50. Takes it out to about right at the 50 yard line, a gain of five yards. Linton and but uh, potentially a much more dangerous play. Yeah. He, he slipped one tackle and made a nice move to get us. Quick get action by the Dublin defense. Blackley up quickly with the next play. Lassiter brings them up. They got two men to each side. Lassiter hand with the handoff to Farrow. No running room. In fact, he'll lose a yard. Great job. Evans was in on that play again. A couple of other defenders. They get him a yard behind the line, so Stan will bring up third and about six. Blackley County trying to keep the drive alive. Two men to each side. Laster with Farrow off to his left, looking to throw. And that ball was thrown out of bounds. Good coverage. Very good coverage yeah. on the part of the Dublin, Dublin defense. Yeah. Yeah. That was that big receiver. That was Torino Davis, Davis, the intended receiver, but that brings up a fourth down and uh, almost six yards to go. Strickland had the coverage there, Stan. That was outstanding coverage. He had him blanketed. And the Royals are going to go for it. They're going to go for it. Laster with two, two men to each side. Farrow now moving off to his right. Irish looking to put some heat on him here. Oh, it was a quick kick. Nobody back deep for Dublin. Well executed. It hits inside the 20. It'll be down at about the 17. Nice job by Laster on a quick kick. Number 17, Michael Floyd, crowns the ball for the Bleckley County Royals. And Dublin yep. will yeah. begin their offensive possession, their third offensive possession of the night from their own, looks like, 17 yard line. I think you're right on that, Craper. That's a good job by Blackley schematic scheme wise right there, Stan. They kind of forced the Dublin's hand on defense. They basically went punch safe, I think, right there, thinking they were going to go for it. All right, the Irish take over first and 10 at their 17 with 531 to go in the first quarter. Dublin leads 13 0. Hand off to Mitchell. Brings it up to about yeah, the 20 yeah, yard line. 20. Got some action after the play between Evans and a defender for Blackley County and their flag is thrown. Let's see what the call is. Flag on the play. Yeah, hopefully Stan, they see that as I, as I call it chicken fighting and not that somebody was throwing a punch or anything. Personal foul on Dublin, or, or offsetting, offsetting. Off so ultimately, no harm, no foul, I guess you'd say. Except Evans brought to the sideline. He's gonna have a talk with the coaches. All right, Dublin will bring it up second and seven from their 20. Inside handoff to number eight, eight that's Mitchell. Mitchell. Pretty good run out to about the 25. What if there was a paint that had the power to awaken something old or painfully dated? or something you simply thought was lost forever because it could form a strong bond regardless of age. If a paint could give any time-worn surface stunning new life, you have to wonder, is it still paint? Regal Select Exterior from Benjamin Moore. Quality products and installations since 1985. That's Four Seasons. 
Man, that ball is just across the 25, let's call it third and about one. We got 432 would go in the first quarter with the Irish leading 13-0. Hand off to Cooley, inside hand off. Good, tough running by Cooley out across the 30. He'll easily have the first down for Dublin. That was right off, right between that, that left side guard and tackle. It Pretty was. good blocking. Yeah, very good blocking at the point of attack. 410 left to go in the first quarter. Irish moving the ball from the west end of the stadium toward the east end of the stadium. The Inside Irish keep it on the ground. Cooley. Well played by the Blackley defense right there. Number 21, Andrew Butler for Blackley on the play. Cooley will get, Stan, we'll have to call it no gain. Call it second and 10. Well played by Blackley County's defense. Martin back to pass, heavy rush, escapes it out to his right. And then he throws late, incomplete. Boy, he was awfully close to the line of scrimmage, Stan. He may have been over the line when he threw that ball. He was. Let's check it. I think that's what, yeah. what the flag is going to be, Chris. Coach Holmes was lobbying the official hard on the call, but let's see what they, what they say. And if he was, that's a loss of them, is it yeah, not? I believe it is. Well, no, it may not be a it loss may not of down. Be, yeah. Grounding is intentional grounding is a loss of down. Folks, while we got a break in the action, we'll remind you again, right after the game, stay with us for the offensive and defensive players of the game brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. I believe that is the call. He was across the line and that's going to bring up a, a third, yeah, third and about and 13, third 14. And about, yeah. 13. Third and about 14. The ball will be spotted now at the 23, at, I'm sorry, 28 yard line. Inside handoff to Cooley, breaks it off to his left. Got one man to beat to get to the corner, does so. Good run, and he'll, he got pretty close to that first down, Stan. I, I think he'll be two or three yards short. Nice run by Cooley, though. I think he's gonna be at least, what's that, about three yards short. Ball will be spotted on the 38-yard line, and I believe he had to get to the 41 for a first down, so let's call it You're right, three. Craig. So we'll see Dublin's first punt of the night. And actually, looking at the flag, the wind is blowing across the field from the north to the south. Dublin had a little bit of an unorthodox uh, alignment right there, and the Blackley County coaching staff picked up on something. One of their coaches literally came out on the field screaming for a timeout. So with 2.57 to go in the first quarter from the Shamrock Bowl, your score, Dublin 13, Blackley County nothing. At Bank of Dudley, we want to help with all your lending needs. Whether you're thinking of buying a new car, remodeling your home, or just want to go on vacation, let one of the many lenders at a Bank of Dudley branch near you help realize your dreams. Bank of Dudley, we're big enough to offer the great services you need, but small enough to make sure you can talk to someone you trust. Bank of Dudley with five convenient locations, East Dublin, Downtown Dublin, and Veterans Boulevard, Dudley, and Jeffersonville. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. 
When it's time to buy or sell your home, it's time to put the winning team at Century 21 to work for you. And our team includes Jody Tanner, Jim Jarrett, Pam Tillery, David Deeves, Beverly Forbes, Ann Adams, Raina Dubberly, Benny Helton, Charlene Brantley, Ruth Watson, Jay Brantley, Charlene Lamp, Yvonne Robertson, Karen Whitmer, and Broker George Durden. So put the Century 21 Durden Cornegay team to work for you today and you're sure to score every time. For more information, log on to c21dublin.com. Call 272-1535 or log on to c21dublin.com. All right, we're back from the Shamrock Bowl after Bleckley's timeout. Dublin fourth and three. Gabriel Guyton back to kick. Rugby style runs off to his right. Good, Good kick. kick. Fair catch at the 30-yard line. By number one. For the Royals, Davis. I should go back on right. So with 2.42 to go in the first quarter, Blackley will be first and 10 from their own 30 yard line. And the deep, Dublin defense has played very well at this point. They really contained Farrow, put some heat on Lassiter. He's been a little off target on a lot of his throws. There's a throw out to his right, his wide receiver behind the line. Great job. He's down at the line of scrimmage, Craven. Actually, a little behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that was Carswell, I believe, on the great job of reading that play, coming up, fighting off a blocker to make the tackle. Let's call it no gain, second and 10. Farrow in motion out to his left. He'll throw it to him behind the line. Makes Cooley miss. Makes another man miss in the open field across the 35. Nice run by Farrow after the catch. Jermaine Cooley had a shot at him in the open field, but you see how slippery a running back Farrow is. He made several guys miss on that play. I'm not sure those throws would be classified as passes. I, it lateral. looked like it was a very close backwards pass or lateral. All right, that'll bring up third and four for Blackley County from their 36-yard line. Laster back with trips right. Laster with a delayed handoff to Farrow, coming off to his left, he makes one man down. miss, and he got the first down. Nice running by Farrow. I believe that's Bruce Guyton standing, that had a shot at him, which would have been that stopped was him. Guyton. Yeah, short of the first down, but Farrow is awfully slippery. He's got a lot of moves. Their skill people are really good looking. Last during the wide receivers, the running back, they're all very impressive. There's another swing pass to Farrow. Short gain right there near the, down to about the 45. In fact, that'll probably be no gain or maybe a maybe a yard at best. That's, no, that's Literally, it's almost yeah. second and 11. Yeah, he yeah, lost they, a little yeah, on that Yeah, they actually play. went up marking that ball back at their 34, I'm sorry, 44 yard line. Let's call it second and 11, Blackley. Laster fakes the handoff, back to throw, looking to his left. And they keep, keep trying to hit Davis down the sideline and the Irish defenders were all over him doing a good job also of using the sideline as an extra defender. Davis just hasn't been able to get free in the open. All right, with that, it'll be third and 11 for Blackley from their 44. I got trips right, Laster back in the shotgun for the snap. They're just throwing it up. Yep, they are. Let's see Coach Holmes go right to the 
official lobbying for offensive pass interference on Davis. He doesn't get the call, but the bottom line is great defense by the Irish. And that'll bring up another yep, punt with six punt seconds left County. in the first quarter. Yeah. Davis showed some good sportsmanship and respect right there. Went up to one of the Dublin defenders and popped his hand and said, good job. Washington back deep to receive the punt. For the Irish, number three. A little bit of a low kick. Washington picks it up on the run. Oh, no. oh, no, he's hit. Wow, he took a couple of real shots right there. One looked like it might have been a face mask he, as he went out of bounds. Then when he came back in, the guy hit him, appeared to hit him late, but neither penalty was called. That's the end of the first quarter from the Shamrock Bowl. Your score, Dublin 13, Blackley County nothing. Why do we put so much effort into engineering the Can-Am Defender? Why do we equip it with tough Rotex engines featuring impressive torque? Why do we give it massive towing and hauling capabilities? And why do we make it clever with versatile cargo solutions and much more? Well, why do you put so much effort at everything you do? Because a job worth doing is worth doing right. Can-Am Defender. Tough. Capable. Clever. Visit the new location of Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson Street in Dublin. Call 478-272-7769. No matter who your team is on Friday night. Let's go Crusaders! Go Irish! Go Falcons! Go Raiders! Your Chevy team that can't be beat is... Dublin Chevrolet! Pick a Tahoe or Suburban and score up to $7,000 off... Girls, one more time. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you will ever need. They know a winning team when they see one. All right, we are back. Dublin lined up on about their own 20 yard line, just over the 20, 21. Martin at the quarterback. And off the Jones, I believe. Yep. Greg Jones. We got a short gain out to the 25 second, call it second seven for Dublin. Got 11.38 to go in the first half from the Shamrock Bowl. The Irish lead at 13 nothing. Martin with that quick handoff to Jones again. But well played by the Blackley defense. That was number six. Rozier on the tackle for Blackley after a short game by Jones. Good wide pursuit by the Very Dick, good Beck, defense. Blackley County defense. Sure was. And Third and about four yards to go. <laughs> Martin with that inside handoff. Not much running room right there. Well played by the interior of the Blackley County defensive front. Don't like Dublin ran to the right side of that center yeah, this time. They did. There just was no room there in the middle. They just. Give their defensive line credit. They surged forward and just totally blocked the middle of the field. And Dublin had no chance to get the first down right there. Guyton back to kick again. Dublin's fourth and one kicking from their own 30 yard line. Or snapping it from the 30. Again, the rugby kick. Good kick. Ball hit it, hit a Blackley County defender. Man, hit a Blackley County defender. Dublin's got the ball. I think Dublin may have recovered that ball. That was a great job by the kicker, Rozier. I mean, uh, Guyton, I believe. I want to say it hit. Uh, yeah, one of their men was looking, not looking toward the ball, was looking, running downfield, trying to make a block. It went off of his leg. 
and I believe uh, there's number one. I believe yeah, Torino one, Davis. Davis. I believe it may have been uh, Jones that recovered that ball. So Dublin with great field position now at the 44-yard line of Blackley County with 9.55 to go in the half, already leading 13-0. Martin rolls back to pass. Oh. Breaks loose, almost was sacked, and now down the sideline. And let's see, got a man down for Blackley County, maybe cramping, and then flags all over the place. Apparently there was a clip out in front of the run. Either a clip or a hold, I'm assuming. Well, you got three different officials yeah. that saw it because yep. there's three flags there. Yeah, down. there was laundry all over the field. That'll wipe out a nice gainer by Martin. Man, it looked like he went to pass and then he pulled it down. It looked like he's gonna be sacked. Somehow came out of there and got to the sideline, but unfortunately an illegal block was thrown out in front be of him. First and a long yeah. way. Yeah. Well, I'll take that back. First and that'll take the ball back. The nose of the football will be touching midfield. So Dublin will be uh, first and 16, I believe. Stan. About 16 yards, yes. Don't forget, folks, to stay with us right after the game. The City of Dublin Natural Gas presents the offensive and defensive players of the game for the Irish. Martin with the handoff to Jones. Jones brings it Jones, back nice down run. to. Yeah, pushes his way inside the 45. Good, tough run right there. Yeah, he'll get six, maybe seven yards. Let's call it second and a short or a long nine, Stan. Nice run by Jones. That's about a seven yard run for Greg Jones. Inside handoff to Mitchell, I believe. No, that's uh, Stacy Sharp. He's got a few yards. I believe that's Stacy Sharp on the carry. It is, number five, Stacy Sharp. That ball's going to be spotted at the 40. It'll bring up third and about six. Maybe a short six, let's call it. 825 to go in the first half with the Irish ahead 13 0. Martin rolls his right, looking to throw. And errant throw. I think he was trying to hit uh, Tyler Strickland, I believe. And just overshot him right there. I couldn't tell. There were two yeah. Dublin receivers yeah, out there. Strickland was closest to the ball. Guyton will be back to kick for Dublin. That'll be the punting situation. The ball at the Blackley County 40, Dublin fourth and six from there. Guyton running to his right for that rugby kick. Kicked it awfully low. Oh, great kick down inside the 10. Davis let it go, was unable to field it. Ball will be spotted dead at about the six yard line. Great job on the rugby kick by Guyton, Stan. The only thing that worries me with that kick is he kicks it awfully low, might get one blocked if we're not careful. A lot of people don't know the Nationwide Insurance is the largest farm insurer in the country. Is your irrigation or your equipment insured at actual cash value or is it insured at replacement cost? How will the actual cash value actually be determined? By market value, which you can buy a used piece of equipment on the market for, or at some formula your insurance company has come up with? Replacement cost, is it at what it would have been at the current model or the new model. 
Don't find out at the time of a claim. Call us and let us go through it with you to help make sure that you're insured getting the most value for your dollar. Are your barns, equipment sheds, other structures covered properly? Is your livestock? Is your chemical in storage? Are your fuel tanks, your nitrogen tanks? Are all these items covered? Have you ever been asked? That's what we do when we come to your farm because we're on your side. Nationwide and Walker Insurance is on your side. First and 10 for the Blickley County Royals on about their seven yard line. They got line. a bunch formation to the right. They got four men and spread right. That's a different quarterback in there. He threw it to Davis, I believe that is, on the he other did. side of the field. They had four men bunched out in a bunch formation out to the right. Including yep. Lassiter, the quarterback. Including Lassiter, yeah. And then a new quarterback, I didn't get his number, stepped in and threw it to Davis on the other side of the field. Got about eight yards on the play. Actually, it's first down. So. And we've got the same formation Blackley again. First down from their 17-yard line. Yep, same formation. Now it's a quarterback run, and there's an illegal it, block, I think, staying on Blackley County. You saw the flag. Yep. Probably going to be a holding. That is... Uh, Bruce Bailey, who I believe is a wide receiver, normally has been the guy they've been putting it in that wildcat formation when they have the bunch receiver set. On the play. Hold, the hold on Blackley County will take it back inside the 10. The ball will actually be spotted at their own nine yard line. So it'll be first and 17, I think. Stand there, sticking with that bunch formation to the right. Well, Bailey kind of has a wildcat quarterback back to throw, throwing a deep ball, trying to hit Davis down the sideline, well covered by Strickland. Stan, I don't know that Davis is caught by that one ball. They've done, double he defense has, has done a great job. They're really keying on him and really blanket coverage all night. And he was one of the three that that Roger mentioned, of course, Laster, the quarterback, right. uh, Farrell, Farrell, the running back, yeah. back, and then Davis, the receiver. Yeah. Their skill people are excellent. Still in the bunch formation. Bailey back, looking to throw. Now he runs. Now he's in trouble. Oh, broke loose. Oh, great job. He'd be stopped at the, about the nine-yard line. That was Linton. And number 74. 74, Derek Wad Barrett Wadley. Along with Linton on that tackle. They'll actually lose a yard, I think, on that. It'll be third and 18 for Blackley. They're staying with the bunch formation to the right. Bailey in at quarterback. Just stands up and throws it. Look, gets a block for Farrow, who comes straight up the field out near the 20, but he'll be well short of the first down. About seven yards, six, seven yards short. Yeah, nice game, but unfortunately for them, he had 18 to go. Nowhere near that much yardage gained on the play. Nice series for the Dublin defense right there. Blackley back to kick. Washington standing exactly on the 50 yard line stand, so Dublin should have good field position yet again starting their next drive. Under six, under six minutes, just under six minutes left in the half. A little bit of a high snap, he fumbles it. It's blocked. Oh, damn, Dublin was all over it, loose football. It'll be Dublin's ball at about the 15 yard line. That snap was a little high and he might have moved his eyes off of it and he fumbled it. And once he did that, he was dead. The Dublin. Well, Dublin's gonna take over on about over. the 16 yep. yard line of the Blackley County yep. Royals. Yep. 545 left to go in the half. Excellent opportunity for Dublin to add to the score. Yeah, absolutely. And again, Dublin starting in positive field position on Blackley side of the field, which has happened several times tonight. 
The field position has been a huge advantage for Dublin throughout this first half. Martin with the handoff to Jones. Not much there, he got a couple of yards. Not a whole lot of blocking out to the left side of Dublin's offensive line. About two yards on that game. Yeah, several Royal defenders in on that tackle. Puts the ball on about the 13, 14 yard line. Andrew Butler was one of the guys in on the tackle for Blackley County. Gain of two yards, doubling second and eight with 5.07 to go in the first half. Martin with the handoff to Cooley off to the left side. Good tough run and broke Good several tough run tackles. Down inside yep. the 10-yard line. Inside the 10. Nice run by Cooley. Just inside the 10, I think. The ball be spotted. Let's call it the nine-yard line. The nose of the football just barely touching the nine. It's third and three for Dublin. We got 4.34 to go in the first half. Don't forget to stay with us immediately after the game. The City of Dublin Natural Gas presents the offensive and defense players of the game for the Irish. Martin faked the inside handoff to Cooley, kept it, went off to his right, and I believe he'll have the first down. Stan, he's right, very close. Mighty close. Yeah, awfully close. I believe he got down, well, the one of the officials is marking it on the five-yard line. It's going to be first and goal for the Irish yep. on the Blakely County row on five-yard line. Signal first down. Nice run on the keeper by Martin right there. Fake the inside handoff to Cooley, which really drew the defense. He was able to break it off to his right and get just enough for the first down. First and goal, 357. 355 to go in the first half. The Irish looking to add to a 13-0 lead. Oh, oh, I think we had movement maybe on the, or a timeout. I think a time Coach Holmes didn't field. like the formation and time quickly out, called timeout. Time out, so timeout on the field with 342 to go in the first half of the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin 13, Blackley County nothing. <laughs> Score big with the Dublin Piggly Wiggly. Catch all the savings throughout the store. Score big with fresh produce, grocery items, dairy products, and don't fumble the handoff. Choose 100% certified Angus beef from Dublin Piggly Wiggly. Taste the difference today. Fresh food, friendly service, Piggly Wiggly. Allen's Heating and Air is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Air to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands. With the purchase of a new Amana unit, you'll get a lifetime warranty on the compressor. Allen's Heating and Air. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Air. Amana Heating and Air Conditioners. Last and last and last. All right, we're back. The Irish first and goal from the Blackley five-yard line. There's a handoff to Jones. Yeah, he got hit right away and fell forward for a couple of yards right there. I believe they're going to mark that at about right yeah, at the two-yard line. Yeah, down near the two. Let's call it second and two and a half for a Dublin touchdown. Again, hand off to Jones, sweeping around to his left. Well played by the Blackley defense. I don't know if he got anything standing right there. They stacked it up very nicely. Let's see where they mark it. He may have gotten a foot. Yeah, yeah. let's call if, it. Yeah, let's, I think he got exactly a foot. <laughs> let's call it third and goal from the Blackley County two yard line for Dublin with 2.41 to go in the half. Watch Cooley on this play. So back. 
He Inside takes it. He takes it Cooley, in. He powers his way in for a Dublin touchdown. Nice run by Cooley. That'll bait the score with 2.24 to go in the half. Dublin 19, Blackley County nothing. You know, we talked about Dublin's huge advantage in field position this first half. That's big, but the even bigger is the factor is to take advantage of it. Dublin's done that. Turned it into points. Looks like Dublin will go for two stand to try to make it 21 nothing. Two important turnovers resulting in very good field position yep. and both now That's right. resulting in points. Dublin's going to go for two. Martin rolls to his right, looking to throw. Appeared to have a man and, and threw Got it. it. Did, yeah, I, I think he's either out of bounds or across the line of scrimmage. But there's a flag yeah, on the play. He, he had a wide open, couple of wide open receivers in the end zone. Hit one of them for the two points, but I think that was an illegal flag throw. On the play. Flag on the play. Let's check the call. They haven't made it yet. Now the official's coming over toward the Dublin bench. Yep, illegal forward pass, I believe it's called Stan, since he was across the line of scrimmage. That'll back it up to the about the eight yard line. I think Dublin's acting like they still want to go for two. Martin is out again, so apparently they are. Might not be a bad idea with the wind blowing like it is across the field. Mm -hmm. 224 left in the half. Dublin's going to attempt the extra point again, going to go for the two point conversion. Martin at quarterback position takes. Rolls to his the right, snap, looking to throw, looking for Cooley, throws back across his body. Broken up. Broken nice up. play by the Blackley defensive back. Yeah. He was trying to hit Jerkez Evans as tight end, but that's a conversion, conversion attempt, no good. So with 2.20 to go in the half, your new score from the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin 19, Blackley County nothing. And that Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Lawrence County. If you're presently a customer of ours, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to be your bank. We appreciate the confidence you have placed in us and enjoy providing you with the most up-to-date banking products and services to satisfy your needs. If you're not a current customer, we would like to invite you to stop by and let us show you true community banking at its best. We concentrate on our local community, doing our part to make Dublin and Lawrence County a better place to live, work, play, and retire. We recently introduced two new products, eStatements and Access Now, our mobile banking app. Both of these products will help to make banking with us more convenient and will also help to provide you with a safer and more secure banking experience. So for all your banking needs, just give us a call or stop by and let us show you personal banking at its best. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Hey, are you searching for a great used car, truck, van, or SUV? Head on over to Dublin Auto Sales, where the selection and value are sure to fit your budget. See Wayne Kemp, Bill Topping, Alan Fields, TJ DeRoche, or Freddie Cook today. Dublin Auto Sales, celebrating another great year in business. Now proud to be on both sides of North Jefferson Street with our new truck and SUV lot. You'll also find Dublin Auto Sales at 1705 Telfair Street in Dublin. Selection, value, and bank rate or in-house financing is available, so financing is never an issue. Dublin Auto Sales, if you're searching for a great used car, truck, van, or SUV, head on over to Dublin Auto Sales. I guess they're going to call an illegal formation on Dublin on the kickoff. They never, they never kicked it. Apparently they were lined up in an illegal formation because the referee dropped the flag before he could kick the ball. Evans comes over to talk with Coach Holmes. That's something you don't see very often. <laughs> nope. That's almost what it had to be. Yeah, yeah, it had to be an illegal formation. Seems like the rule is you can only have one or two guys off the ball, I think, or off the line when you kick off. That may have been what it was. 
Anyway, the ball will be moved back to Dublin's 35-yard line. Evans will, kick, Evans will kick off from there. With 2.24 to go in the half, the Irish have just scored and make it 19 to nothing in their favor. Good booming Good kick. kick. Wow. Right. Yep. Oh, fumbled and, oh, it, oh, it did. Okay, it touched back. I don't know if the Dublin coaches were screaming there. They called it a touchback, Stan, after no. Blackley fumbled it. I don't think the ball, well, it may have just barely touched the goal line, I guess. Dublin coaches up here beside us were screaming. And it was a live ball, and he had to try to return it. But that was not the call. Anyway, with 2.01 to go in the first half, the Royals will take it over at their 20. Trailing 19 nothing. Stan, we talked about the offense taking advantage of some very good field position, but Dublin's defense has played extremely well tonight. There they have. 218 left in this half, ladies and gentlemen. Lasseter with a quick throw out to Davis. He'll have a short gain up near the 25 yard line. Number 15 was in that tackle as well for the eyes. Demez Rosier, second and four, second in the long four, short five. Farrow stopped dead for a loss, one about yard. one yard, one yard loss on that play. Stan, I would. I wouldn't be surprised to see Dublin take a time. Well, this is yeah, this is gonna be third down. I thought Dublin might use a timeout right there to try to preserve the clock and possibly have a chance to put some more points on the board. Blackley got trips right. Laster looks to his left, but flag ooh, down. Davis took a big shot from Strickland after he caught that ball. Apparently, it was illegal procedure on Blackley County. That does stop the clock with, well now start running once they spot the ball with 1.15 to go in the half. It'll be third and about nine for Blackley County. An inside handoff to Farrow, he breaks a tackle. He'll have his first down, I believe. Nice run by Farrow. He gets out to about the 30. Stan, that was a good call. I think they caught Dublin's defense a little off, off uh, kilter right there. I think they were expecting a pass and the run caught them by surprise. Swing pass, great play by Guyton out Guyton's there. Guyton, great play on yep. that end. Great job by Guyton. He just took him down right there, and actually he'll luckily he'll lose about two yards on that play. With third they're down there in 30 seconds, big hole up in the middle of the field for their running back. I don't know if that's Farrow or another that running back. Great. Yeah, that's Farrow. Nice run by him. Picked up about six, bring up third about three. This might be the last play that of the half. That may be the half. last play of the half. Yeah, I don't imagine they'll snap this ball. Well, they actually do. It last will be the last play of the half. Ferry. half. With a short game, that'll be the end of the first half with your score from the Shamrock Bowl. Dublin 19, Blackley County nothing. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. 
You've been saying you want it, and now's the time to get it. Pool and patio furniture in style with fabrics you want, comfort and durability you deserve. You'll even save on accessories and add your own personal style. Peak season and telescope casual furniture, a new category of furniture made of superior quality marine grade polymer will not crack nor separate in any outdoor environment and proudly made in America. Come see the full line of pool and patio furniture at Mid-State Pools and Spas today and bring home a colorful poolside with the original Pauly's Island Adirondack chairs. Visit our showroom today and see the complete line of lounge chairs for your pool and see the selection of Louisiana grills. The wood pellet grill that bakes, roasts, braise, smokes, grills, sears, char grills, and barbecues. Anytime's a great time for a Louisiana grill. And now's a great time to save at Mid-State Pools and Spas, located on Veterans Boulevard in Dublin. Mid-State Pools and Spas, we know pools. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back getting ready for the second half kickoff. Of course, Dublin will receive from the west end of the stadium. Did not. They appeared to recover it, but I don't. I, I don't think it went ten yards. What you got to do? The ball did not go 10 yards. It was not touched by a Dublin player, so Dublin will take over again with excellent field position on the 48-yard line of the Bleckley County Royals. I didn't count, but it seemed like this is probably at least five drives Dublin started on Bleckley's side of the field. Martin, the quarterback. And off to uh, Mitchell, it Mitchell, looks a like. Nice run right up the gut. He'll get about eight yards. Good tough run by Mitchell. Second and a short one for the hour. Second and a short one. Dublin in the wing T formation. Hand off this time. To, uh, that's Mitchell again. That was Mitchell. I'm sorry I did it. Hope I'm not reverting back to the form I showed that first game. Good run by Mitchell. He's down inside the 30. He got a lot of yards after contact on that play. First and 10 on about the 27, 28 yard line. Let's call it first and 10 from the 28 of Blackley County with 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. The Irish trying to add to their lead. Mitchell takes a handoff nice again. Nice run. He'll, have, he'll be down near the 20. Very good blocking up front by Dublin that time. He had a nice hole to run through. Yeah, the got a man field. down. There's timeout, officials timeout for the injury. Injured well, Blakely County player. About, about five and a half, six yards on that run eight, from scrimmage nine, by four. Mitchell. Dr. Jackson Fordham is a proud sponsor of local high school football on TV35. Dr. Fordham is located in his new office at 204 Fairview Park Drive. His experienced staff is ready to serve you today. So call and make an appointment at 272-4051. For all your dental needs, count on Dr. Jackson Fordham. There's more than one way to get professional lawn care. Do it yourself like this homeowner. 
with whatever this is. Pros use reliable, powerful Gravely equipment. This homeowner gets by with something else. Gravely delivers the high performance and quality professionals stake their reputation on. Gravely outpowers, outlasts, outperforms. Get what the pros use. Now at Myers Equipment and Supply in Dublin. It's third and three for Dublin. Stan, you look at that, the ball resting on the 21. They're probably in two down territory right there. That'd be a reach for a field goal, so Dublin will probably go for it if they come up short. There's a handoff Cooley. to Cooley. You won't have to worry about that because he easily got the first down down to about the 14 yard line. Nice run by Cooley. First down right up the middle. Brings up a first and 10 to about the 14 yard line. First and 10 on the 14. Ball will be spotted on the Blackley 14 yard line. The Irish will be first and 10 from there with 9.20 to go in the third quarter. Don't forget, folks, stay with us right after the game for the offensive and, Dublin, uh, offensive and defensive players of the game for Dublin brought to you by City of Dublin Natural Gas. And we got a flag. I think you'll have a delay of game. All sides. All sides. On the I, Blackley I thought, County Royal. I thought Dublin might have taken too long, but it's actually going to be all sides on Blackley County, which will put the ball down inside the 10, so Dublin will be. First and five from Blackley County's nine yard line. First down, five yards to go. Gotta get just past the five for a first down. Oh, nice tackle right there, play. yeah. I thought Mitchell Stan might be able to break that out to the right and possibly score. Nice play by one of their defensive linemen. Second down, three yards to go. Inside and off to Cooley, again. good run. Fumble. Uh, he might have fumbled at the end. He took a big hit as he was got near the goal line. Uh, that ball was definitely out, and it uh, looks like Blackley County got it. And it's a touchback, I think. Oh, it's Blackley County's ball. Let's see if it's a touchback. Good run by Cooley, but he took a big hit at the end of that play, and for, unfortunately the ball came out. Blackley County makes a recovery. And a Dublin touchdown right there. May have put the game away, Stan. Let's credit Blackley County's defense coming up with a big play when they really needed it. Well, they ruled a yep, touchback. They Evidently a touchback. the ball rolled in the end zone. We'll flip our sheet, Craven. <laughs> All right. Nice job by you to get us a sheet showing the rosters tonight. Farrell, oh, a great move. A great move by Farrell right off the line. Made two guys miss. Big run all the way out to the 35 yard line. Tremendous run by Farrell. And that is their longest yep. run from scrimmage tonight. Probably their longest play from scrimmage. Actually, the ball will be placed at 36. They got that bunch formation with Bailey at quarterback. He's going to just run it right up the middle. Guyton, oh, great job by Guyton making the tackle. He, he, he got maybe two yards. Great job by Bruce Guyton on that play. And holding on Blackley County. So that'll back them up. And one of their offensive linemen did not agree with that call at all, his teammate trying to console him. Gonna bring up a first down, 20 yards to go from the Blackley County 27. 
Pastor, a little spring pass to Farrow out to the right. Broke a tackle and he'll be out near the 35. And let's see, you might have a, I think you might have a face mask on the tackle. Well, that'll add to that play. So a couple of flags come in along their sideline right at the end of the play, just after the tackle. And that is in fact the call, and that'll move the ball up to the 39. So Bleckley County will now be second, second and about eight, seven, eight. Seven or eight. Yeah. Second, let's call it second and eight. Last are back with two men to each side, split out. Uh, yeah, Blackley jumped off side. They were going to run a little wide receiver screen, I think. And left side of their offensive line just fired off ahead of the ball being snapped. That'll bring it to second and 12. From the Blackley County 33. They're going to throw that again to Bailey. Oh, great job by Tyler Strickland playing off a block to slow him up until some help could get there. Linton was there. I think Sharp was there also, Stacy Sharp. That's great. Yeah, great job by the Dublin defense. He'll actually lose about two yards on that play. Let's call it second. I'm looking, I thought it was third down. Yeah. Yeah, I did too at the penalty. Laster with a handoff to Farrah coming to his left. No room to run. Jermaine Cooley was there. I think Evans might have been there. Well played by the Dublin defense. Barrick Wadley was there. He's gonna bring up third and 13 for Bleckley County. The ball spotted on their 33. We got trips right. Of course, you got Davis, that tall yeah. wide receiver on this side. There's a swing pass to Farrow. He'll catch it about the 30. Well played by Guyton. Guyton came up and got a piece of him. He got past him, but he slowed him up enough and actually tripped him up. For basically no gain, it'll be fourth and 13 for Blackley County from their 34 yard line. Play only gained one yard, so it's fourth and 12 for Blackley. Washington back standing near his 35 yard line. Timeout, uh, Royals. Yeah, Blackley County had a, looked like they were out of position a little bit on their alignment. They had a man run on late. There's a lot of confusion, so they called timeout. Well, there's a timeout on the field. I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you to stay with us after this game is over for the presentation of the most valuable defensive and offensive players of the game for the Dublin Irish, presented by the city of Dublin, Natural Gas. We got savings to cheer about here at Dublin Nissan. Dublin Nissan has Altima's discounted to as low as 19,488. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. percent financing and we'll just add it to your bill start saving today it only makes sense the city of dublin natural gas all right we are back the royals in punt formation ball resting on their 33 yard line 
Now Washington's Zion moved Washington up to his 41-yard line. Good kick. Good kick. Washington will take it. Fumble. And Blake and McKinley Blake will has have it, it at the 35-yard line. All of a sudden, the Irish are the ones turning the ball over. That's their second turnover in the last few minutes. Washington attempted to feel that ball and then run with it. Might have been better served by calling for a fair catch, but at any rate, it'll be Blackley County's ball, first and 10 from the 35-yard line of Dublin. The 35-yard line, first and 10 with 503 left to go. That was a low kick, and I figured that he thought he was gonna have plenty of running time, but it almost yeah. hung in the air. Yeah. Yeah, looking back on it, he might wish he had called for a fair catch right there if he had it do all over again. All right, Lassiter with trips right, and of course Davis to the left. There's a handoff to Farrell going off to his right. Big hole. Farrell cuts it. Wow, was in the open field and somebody just got a little piece of him. We're like Cooley got yeah, him. Yeah, Cooley just barely got a piece of him enough to knock him off stride. Still, that ball will be spotted at the 24-yard line of Dublin. That's a first down for Blackley County. You got 4.57 to go in the third quarter with the Irish leading 19 to nothing. Ball resting on the 24-yard line of the Dublin Fighting Irish. Now Laster's got trips left. Again, the handoff to Farrell. Farrell. Somebody had a shot at him behind the that, line. Well, that was not Farrell. That, that was. Oh, uh, that wasn't Farrell. Oh, that was. Right. I got a flip machine. Okay. Thought it was Farrell, but no. I think it was, it was Bailey is number two. I believe it was number two. Great play by the Dublin defense. Litton got a piece of him, but couldn't bring oh, him down. Kenzie O'Hayes, oh, okay. sophomore. Yeah, he'll lose about two yards. Let's call it second and 12. You got trips left. Bailey back at quarterback now. I think Lassiter's one of the wide receiver. Bailey running the Wildcat. Just ran it right up the gut, and he'll get about three yards, three or four yards. Maybe three yards, he'll bring up a third. And a long That'll bring up third and about eight, Stan. Lassiter back in at quarterback. Yeah. We've got trips right. Davis, single receiver to the left. Farrow off to Lassiter's left. Hand off to Farrow, tries to cut it back. Almost got loose, but Evans was there. Bring up about a he got, fourth down yeah. and about three yards to go. Yeah, I would imagine they'll go for this, Stan. His decent oh, run by Farrow got him close. They're well, lining they, up to go yeah, for it now. Fourth and three, yeah, Blacker County's already made that determination. 3-12 left in this quarter. They got an unusual formation with two running backs, one of whom's a wide receiver in front of him, and they ran a lead block. Farrell goes him. nowhere. Yeah, Farrell got stacked up, and I think he's going to be short. Let's check the spot. I don't spot. know. He and, may have made it. Yeah, there at the end, he kind of spun off to his left and got a little more out of it. May have gotten enough for the first down. It'll be very close. Blackley is acting like they got the yeah, first Yeah, that down. ball stand appears to be just inside the 20, and that's where the yard marker is. We have a timeout with a measurement. This is going to be a timeout for a measurement. It's that close, so the officials want to look at it, it and be like sure. From here, it looks like he got the first yeah, down. I think he did. Barely. Stan, they had two backs lined up in front of the quarterback, one of whom was one of their linemen. I think it was number 63. He, he was the lead blocker on that, and he looked like he weighs about 240. And he got it by yep. the nose of the football. Yeah, he did. So Blackley County will have it first and 10 at the Dublin 14 yard line with 2.56 to go in the third quarter and the Irish leading 19 to nothing.
For over 21 years, J.T. Hanna has provided Dublin and Middle Georgia with quality promotional products and superior service you can count on. J.T. Hanna specializes in screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We also provide customers with original artwork and logos through our talented in-house design. Our website makes designing and ordering t-shirts easy. You can design, choose from an uploaded template, or upload your own custom logo to easily create a lasting impression. Customers can also create purchase sites to make selling shirts for fundraisers or events easy and stress-free. Whether you need promotional items for your company or next event, JT Hanna can help. We take pride in delivering the highest quality products, and we take pride in serving you. Try us. I think you'll like us. Contact us today at 478-274-1267 or visit us on the web at jthanna.com. All right, we are back, right, ladies and back. gentlemen. First and 10 on the Dublin 15-yard line for the Bleckley County Royals. Poor snap, Bailey picks it up, that actually helped him. Bailey will go in standing. Stan, I think the fact that he fumbled that snap, the Dublin defense kind of relaxed for just a minute. The hole opened up off to the right once he got to pick the ball up. And Bailey, yeah. Bryce Bailey is quick enough to get yeah, through that he hole. he sure is. He made a nice run right there. He made a couple guys miss as he cut back toward the middle of the field and went in standing. Now it's 19 to six with the point after still coming. Stan, the first half, the turnovers played in Dublin's favor. Now in the second half, they're playing in Bleckley County's favor. Oh, bet. yeah, I think we blocked that, Stan. And I think that was 63. Dublin. Khalil White, I believe, blocked that kick. So you're scoring now with 232 to go in the third quarter. Dublin 19, Bleckley County 6. At Morris Bank, we understand that your personal finances and banking experiences can be stressful. We also know that it doesn't have to be that way. That's why for over 60 years, we've dedicated ourselves to providing common sense banking to people just like you. Even when I started working here, there was a definite vibe that you felt when you walked in the door, from the music that you're always gonna hear playing to the, hello, good to see you, welcome, how can we help you? You know, it's just a different experience when you bank here. We work hard to combine the latest online mobile technology and top-notch customer service that allows us to do just that. We realize our customers have choices, but what sets us apart is the personal service that we provide that they may not receive at larger institutions. We like to make you feel at home and we like to make the process as easy as possible when you're banking with us. But we're not focused on helping just our customers. We are equally dedicated to supporting the community we are a part of. Just this year alone, we've logged thousands of community service hours and provided significant financial support to the communities we serve. Something that sets us apart at Morris Bank is what we give back to the communities in which we serve. And as the communities continue to grow, that brings more business and more industry into the area. And it's just this circle effect of, of giving back and, and receiving what the community can offer. We want to make sure you have the best banking experience possible. Come see us or give us a call to find out what makes Morris Bank different because we're banking on you. All right, we're back at the Shamrock Bowl, Blackley County about to kick off with 2.32 to go in the third quarter. The Irish fumbled going in to possibly put the game away, Stan, and then Blackley County a few minutes later got a fumble, recovered a fumble punt and was able to cash it in for the fair first touchdown. Now it's all of a sudden, instead of possibly being 26 nothing, it's 19 to six. Tyler Strickland at about the 15, comes off to his left, got some running room, now off to his, down the sideline, he'll be taken down near the 35. Nice return by Strickland. For the 
I believe they're going to mark it on the 34-yard yep. line. The ball will actually be First and 10. Still decent field position yep. for the Dublin Fighting Irish. But they need a long, sustained, time-consuming nice. drive. That'd be very nice. The Royals have demonstrated in other games this year that they can score quickly. They can. And that's why ball control is very right. important at this point in time in the game. Uh, movement on the Dublin offense. Cooley was thrown for a loss, actually, but that'll be five yards for legal motion on Dublin. Kind of been a tale of two halves. We talked about in the first half, Dublin had all the momentum with the great field position. Got a couple of turnovers here in the second half. The field position hasn't been near as good. And Dublin's did. had two big turnovers that have helped Blackley County get back in the game. The penalty was evidently Decline, bringing up a yeah, second down they, and they, about 12. Yeah, they threw uh, Cooley for a loss. So it was smart at Blackley County's coaches to take the play. Hand off to Jones. Not much blocking right there. Nope. Well, that was not Jones. That was, that was Mitchell. Mitchell. I'm sorry. Might be doing it again. Jones comes out. Monterey and Carswell, I believe, in for him. Inside handoff to Carswell, breaks it off to his left, makes a couple men miss. Nice run across the 40. Good run by Carswell. He's had a couple of nice runs, including one for a touchdown earlier in the game, for the Dublin's first touchdown of the game, actually. Brings up a fourth and three. Yeah, that was third down. He'll We're be about probably three going to wind short. down pretty close to the yeah. end of this quarter. We'll. Davis back deep for Blackley County here. A little bit of a high snap. Good kick, Quick knuckle kick. ball. Yeah, a roll, good roll down to about the 22 yard line. 17.7 seconds to play in the third quarter. Blackley County will have the ball. And of course, Stan, if they were to go down and score a touchdown here, it would get really interesting. Let's hope the Irish defense can come up with a big series right here and get the ball back. We do need a big series from the Dublin Fighting Irish. Royals come out on the field. As he has been all night, Torino Davis is on the left side, split wide. They've got trips left, two men right, empty backfield for Lassiter. Lassiter back to throw. They're going to run a little tunnel screen for Davis coming all the way back across the field. Great play. Great by, play. That was Linton. Steve Linton with a great play for the Dublin defense. Gain of about. Yep. Two and a half, three yards on that play. Stan, if he doesn't make that play as the third quarter ends, Davis might have run a long way. That's the end of the third quarter for Shamrock Bowl. Your score, Dublin 19, Blackley County 6. Allen's Heating and Air is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Air to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands. With the purchase of a new Amana unit, you'll get a lifetime warranty on the compressor.
Allen's Heating and Air. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Air. Amana Heating and Air Conditioners. Last and last and last. All right, we're back to start the fourth quarter from the Shamrock Bowl and some kind of official timeout. I think they're gonna make the Dublin band stop playing. Blackley County's back on that end of the stadium where the band is. Apparently they're gonna say that that interferes with Blackley's ability to call their offense. So now we'll start play. Lassiter back, trips left, throw out to his left, out to his right rather. Ball complete to about the 30 to, uh, it's going to be 37 for them, one of their wide receivers. Not sure who that young man is. I don't see him listed. Yeah. Anyway, made a nice catch. It's third and one now for Blackley. A little bit of a high snap, gives it to Farrow. Big hit. Big hit by Stacy Sharp. Cooley was also there. Stan, I think he may be a half yard short. Actually, they got a favorable spot, but he's still, yeah, he's still gonna be a yard short. Looks like they may go for it. Of course, this could be a quick kick. We saw that earlier in the game from Lassiter. They've got their jumbo package in. And now we've got a timeout. And I think Coach Holmes went to stop our band from playing before the officials did. All right. Blackley with the jumbo package. Laster hands it off to Farrow. Enough of a hole there to pick up the first down. Number three, Gary the football tackle down by number 55 for the Irish. Ezekiel McMillan made the tackle. No, he's 56. Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter made the tackle. Unfortunately, it was about two yards too far up the field. So Blackley does get the first down. Laster with a swing pass out to Bailey, gets a block, and he'll get a few yards. Uh, we maybe have a horse collar, but Tyler Strickland made the tackle stand, and he tackled him up near the shoulder pad and got hold of the jersey, but they may call that a horse collar. I didn't think it was. Strickland was acting like he yeah. got his face mask pulled. Yeah, maybe, maybe they call a face, either a face mask or a horse collar, it looks like. Okay, horse that, that is a horse collar. A but foul, I thought he tackled him around the shoulder and he had the jersey, so it looked worse, I think, than it really was. But bottom line is the officials call a big penalty. Wow. All the That's, way down yeah. to the Dublin 47 yard line. Yep. Wow. That's big a 15 huge yard. call. That's a huge call right now. So excellent field position for Blackley County as they try to make it a one score ball game. Hand off to Farrow up the gut. Farrow still no well. running yeah. room up that yeah. middle. That was uh, Barrick Wadley in on the tackle right there. He's played a nice game. Give him only one, call it second nine right there. Nice play by Wadley. Laster brings him up, two men flanked each side. Now Farrow runs off to his right. Laster looking to throw, a lot of time. Nowhere to throw it. Guyton with a big rush and Laster had to just dump it off and was it a late hit or is it grounded? Grounded, I think. Or did Guyton hit him late maybe? No, from the spot of the foul, it looked like intentional grounding. Yeah, I thought it was yep. too. Yep, intentional That's the call. grounding, yep. And that is a loss of danger. Yep, yep. Guyton was acting like they might have called a penalty on him. So nice play by Bruce Guyton right there. Keep, keep after it and ultimately force an intentional grounding by Laster. He had nowhere to go with the ball. So that's a break for Dublin. That moves the ball all the way back to Blackley's 38 yard line. We've got exactly 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Dublin leads 19 to six. Now we got Trips right, and then Davis off to the left. Laster fakes the pass, draw, 
Good draw play to Farrow. Great play. Jaquez Evans was there. Barrett Wadley was there. Or 63. I was thinking it was Wadley. 63 is Khalil White. Nice play by White. Fourth and three miles, and they are going yeah. for it. Well, it, I would imagine it's a quick kick. Devlin appears to be in punt safe right here. They don't have anybody back. Not trusting that they won't go for it, but it is a quick kick by Laster. Nice kick, end over end. That ball's rolling down inside the 10, down toward the goal line. They're attempting, wow. Great coverage by Blackley County. They're gonna down that ball, stand it, and Devlin's one yard line. Great job by Blaster and a great job of coverage by their offensive unit. Now we need a 99 yep. yard drive. <laughs> yeah. All right, you got 908 to go in the game, doubling ahead 19 to six, but backed up at their own one yard line, first and 10. I'm Dr. Manuel Vega uh, from Dublin Macon Cardiology. I've been in the same office in the campus of Fairview Park Hospital since 2004. I usually market myself as being a uh, Lawrence County only cardiology group that's available uh, 24 hours, seven days a week. What it means is I live in town. I live probably five minutes from the hospital. This is different from some of the other cardiologists in the area, which mostly reside or live in probably the closest place will be Macon, Georgia, which is about an hour away. On any given day, my office is open and a patient may come in and see myself or see my PA or my nurse practitioner and actually get an answer immediately than having to wait for weeks or, or days or waiting until that doctor has another rotation locally. The difference in having a local cardiologist, especially a person with all the credentials and all the boards, is that you get excellent care and you get it locally. I don't have a mission statement, but my statement is uh, go through life and touch people positively and make a difference in somebody else's life. And that's how I practice, and that's how I live. All right, we're back. Dublin huddled up in their own end zone. Martin goes in with the play. Dublin needs no more mistakes. They gotta come out of this hole. And the flags everywhere. I'm wondering if Dublin might have an illegal formation. Too many men on the field. Or too many, too many men on the field. Oh, here we go. No, maybe not. That was a quarterback coming out. Okay. Get some more so signals. Martin coming across to talk to Coach Holm. Still hadn't seen the call. It's going to be apparently all sides on Blackley County. That's a big penalty for Dublin. Gets them out of the shadow of their own goal line. That'll put the ball all the way up at the six yard line. So Dublin will be first and five there. That's a big break for Dublin. Here's the ball out of the six yard line. Be first and ten for the Irish. Or second. Apparently one of their defensive linemen lined up in the neutral zone. Be first and five for the Irish. Martin rolling, looking to throw in his end zone. He's, He's going to run, run it. He's got some room. Nice block downfield by Cooley. Got him a few more yards. He'll be all the way up across the 20. That'll be a first down for Dublin. That ball will be spotted at the 23-yard line. Nice job by Martin right there, Stan, to pull it down and know he could come out to his left and get some yardage. And a great block by Cooley. Got him three or four more yards. Exactly nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter with the Irish leading 19 to six. About a 17 yard run from yeah. Martin. That's his third very nice run of the night. And the inside handoff to Cooley, oh, no. he lost the ball. Yeah, he got ripped out as he ran through the defense. Dublin may have gotten it back. Let's see who comes out of there with it. Uh, Irish maintain control. 
And a huge recovery was made by somebody on the bottom of that pile stand, Dublin ball. That Blackley, one of Blackley County's defenders comes out with the ball. And Coach Lassiter's out complaining. At the end of the play, one of his players did come out with the ball. Now there's a timeout by Blackley County. Coach Laster wants to talk it over with the officials, make sure the call. Of course, there are no instant replays right. in high school football. That's right. And now, there you've goes got a, yeah, now you've got an unsportsmanlike call on the on Blackley County's coach. He got right up in one of the officials' faces. A couple of his players had to walk him back toward the bench. Blackley County coaching staff is really fired up over there across the way right now. That's going to be unsportsmanlike conduct. On, they call it on the bench, but it's actually on their head coach, Coach Laster. He got right up in an official's face, and they threw the flag immediately. However, that did get their crowd going, and their team's also very fired up. Now the Dublin team comes out, and they're fired up, so we've got everybody really high intensity level dialed up to about 11 right now. This is one fired <laughs> up yeah, stadium. It sure is. Mm -hmm. That and brings the, the ball yeah, up the to the 38 will, yard line. Penalty will bring it out way out for Dublin. First and 10 for the Fighting Irish. Two big penalties on, on Blackley County in this drive have helped the Irish, you recall, they were started out just outside their own goal line and two big penalties have helped them tremendously on this drive. And this crowd is going crazy. Martin back to pass, heavy rush and he's sacked. He about sacked. six yards behind the line. They're going That's going to be a two-yard loss, it looks like. Okay, I thought it was farther than that behind the line. Thir no, number no, 34, no, no. Willie Harris, I believe, gets the sack. You're right. Yeah. It was. Yeah, that's going to place the ball back at the 32-yard line of Dublin. They've got to get to the 48 for a first down. So it's second and 18 for Dublin with eight minutes and 11 seconds to go in the ball game. Inside handoff to Carswell. The timing of the play wasn't very good. He'll get a few yards. Stan, as soon as he got that ball, he ran into one of his own linemen and really threw off the timing of that play. Ball will be spotted up near the 38. Maybe four yards. Third and 11. Third and 11. Yeah, it looks like it'll be third and 11 for Dublin from their 37 yard line. Martin goes out with a play, 731 left in the ball game, 19 to six in favor of the Irish to score. But the Blackford crowd, crowd is going wild. We're getting reaction now from the Dublin side, although we can't hear them as well. Martin rolls to his right, looking to throw. Now he pulls it down, runs off to his left, and he'll be well short of the first down. He got about two yards. Gets it up to the 40-yard line. He'll be well short of the first down. Double will be fourth and eight with 6.57 to go in the fourth quarter, and they'll now have to punt. Deep for the Royals, Perennio Davis. As it runs off to his right, that rugby kick. Ball will hit and roll dead down inside the 25. So a good job on the kick by Dublin. 6.23 left to go in this game. Now it's time for the Dublin defense to stand up.
lot of people don't know that Nationwide Insurance is the largest farm insurer in the country. Example, this tractor. There's multiple ways to cover your equipment. It is replacement cost, actual cash value, ensuring the GPS system on it. In addition to tractors, we also cover any implements that you would like to cover. It's like this front end loader as a value added to your tractor or on its own. A lot of times, the only way we will insure a farm is if we come to your site. We're gonna walk it, we're gonna talk it, we're gonna find out what you do and what your interests are. We're gonna customize it so that you get full benefit with the broadest coverage that's available on the market today. A lot of people find out at the time of a claim that they were not properly covered. That is my worst fear. So we make sure going in that you are covered properly. Don't forget to insure your sprayer. A lot of people say, I rode by and didn't see you at your office. That's cause I was probably on a farm. All right, we're back folks. With 6.23 to go in the fourth quarter, Dublin leads 19 to six. Blackley County's first and 10 from their 24. Two men out to each side for Lassiter. Farrow off to his right. Lassiter back to pass. Going deep for Davis. Davis. Did he catch nope. that ball? Nope. No, but there's, a flag. A, flag down. Yeah, there's a flag on the play. Let's check the call. Davis was moving his hand in front of his face mask like that's what it was. The officials talking over on the Blackley County sideline. Pass interference on Dublin. Be first down. Yep, automatic first down for Blackley County. Ball will be spotted at their 46 yard line with 6.10 to go in the game. Two men out to each side for Lassiter, looking to throw. He hits Davis for a short gain on their sideline. Well played by Tyler Strickland again. Stop the clock, the 6.03 remaining. He stepped out of bounds. Ball resting on the Blackley County 49 so yard line. 49, so it'll be second and eight with 6.03 to go in the game. Yeah, yeah. For some got, reason the clock. got a Blackley County player offside, offside, offside at the line of scrimmage as I look you down sure on do. it, and yep. there he goes. Yep, the officials saw it all the way. Number 37, one of their wide receivers. It was clearly offsides right there. That's a, that's a break for Dublin's defense. I don't see his name on their sheet. It's not. Yeah. He caught a ball a few minutes ago. So that will back Blackley County up. That'll be second and 12. Ball now back at their 44 yard line. Lassiter looking to throw. Ooh, had a man open, number 17, down the seam, but just missed him. That was Michael Floyd. Floyd was the intended receiver. Yeah, he kind of ran a seam route right there, and he had him open, but a a little bit of an errant throw by Lassiter. Bring up a third in about 12, 12 and a half. Ball still resting on the 44 yard line with the incomplete pass. Now with 547, they may be in two down territory. They're down 13 points. They've got to have two scores to try to win this game. So they may be, they may go for it on fourth down right here if they don't get it. Lassiter with an empty backfield. Throwing for Davis, complete, nice throw. Well, a slant route. Very close to the first and down, he didn't might quite be, get Yeah, it. he might be a yard short. Tyler Strickland was in on the coverage and his helmet came off, so he'll have to come off for one play. Depending on the spot, Stan, it looks like he may be a yard short. Oh, he got a great spot though. Look at that, that ball is spotted inside Dublin's 45. I thought he was tackled right on the 45. I did too. But that's a long, tall boy and a long yeah, way to fall. Yeah, he, he's, he's a, he, he looks like he's at least 6'3". Long legs and I'm sure long arms. 
They may be two inches short. No, it's first down. First down. You got 544 now to go in the game. Blackley County first down at Dublin's 44 yard line. All right, Stan, looking at it, the Royals have got one timeout left. They've got to have two scores to try to win this game. Irish defense looking to hang on right here and preserve a big win. Lassner back to throw. Again. Going deep for Davis. Oh, Monterian Coswell almost had a shot at an interception. Davis, that ball was well overthrown. Stacy Sharp was there on the coverage. <clears throat> As you'll recall, Strickland had to come out after his helmet came off, so he'll come back in. Now 520 to go in the game. Bleckley County second and 10 from Dublin's 44. Trying to put a touchdown on the board to make it a one score game. Fair off to the left. Lassner throws it too far on the move across the middle of the field. Stacy Sharp He's in got on the, the tackle. First down. Yeah, he'll have the first down. Nice throw by Lassner right there. Ball will be placed at Dublin's 33 with 5.07 to go in the game. Now Farrell off to the right. Lassner looking to throw, intercepted by Jaquez Evans. Huge interception by Evans. And he'll be across the 30. There's a flag at the end of the play, but huge interception by Jaquez Evans. That was a great interception, yep. and he ran around for he about sure, 30 yeah, he seconds. He did. Burned some clock. Yep. Great play, Jaquez Evans. It's against Blackley County. Yeah, they threw the flag just at, right after the tackle was made. I'm assuming it may be a face mask or something. But the bottom line is Dublin's got the ball and now they'll just look to burn some clock with 4.51 to go trying to protect a 13 point lead here late in the fourth quarter. No matter who your team is on Friday night. Let's go Crusaders! Go Irish! Go Falcons! Go Raiders! Your Chevy team that can't be beat is... Dublin Chevrolet! Drive home with up to $10,000 off on a tough Silverado. Dublin Chevrolet! Girls, one more time. Dublin Chevrolet! The only dealer you will ever need! They know a winning team when they see one. Dublin will take over with a penalty. They'll begin play from their own 43, first and 10. Stan, if Dublin throws a pass, for the, any passes the rest of this game, I'll be very surprised. Blackley County now with only one timeout, so a lot of pressure on their defense to make a big play or come up with a turnover. Martin brings them up inside handoff to, uh, is that Stacy Sharp? It looked, looked like, like Stacy yeah. Sharp on that play. Nice run, yeah, it was Sharp, nice run. Four thirty-one left in the game. Clicking down toward four minutes. Sharp again, I believe, on the carry for a short game. Yeah, he got, the, I believe he'll be right at midfield. If so, that'll be third and about three. You're now down under four minutes. 
Third and call it four with 3.52 to go in the game. The Irish nursing a 19 to six lead. Sharp injured his right arm and he now comes out holding that arm. Cooley and Cooley's in. And Linton went in. Linton went in Number also. Number 27. Steve Linton went in as a. Maybe a tight, tight end. end. Hand off to Jones. Jones. Nice run. Gets the first down. down. inside the 45. Yeah, he'll have the first down, and that, that is huge. Because that'll allow Dublin to run at least three more plays and run some clock. We're now down to three minutes and 14 seconds to go in the game. The Irish look to hold on in a tough, hard-fought game at the Shamrock Bowl here tonight. A lot of tired young men out on yeah. that field, crazy. Yeah, Ever, yeah. Uh, they, if you notice the arms. Yep. Everybody dragging a little bit, but this give both teams credit. They have fought hard here tonight. Lending back at tight end on the left hand side, staying in the game as a tight end, normally a defensive player. Now down to player. 254 to go in the game. Handoff to uh, Mitchell goes Mitchell. down, takes the ball all the way down, ten, almost 11 yards. Nice just run. Just down about the 32-yard yeah. line. Nice run. That'll be a first down for Dublin at the 32-yard line. I may have said line. Linton. I meant Mitchell yeah, if Mitchell. I said otherwise. With 2.40 now to go in the game, and the clock running. Blackley County only has one timeout. So unless their defense can come up with a turnover, they're in a lot of trouble right now because they got to have two scores to try to win this game. Or it would take two scores for them to win. Mitchell and again on the Mitchell, carry over to the not right much side. there. Well played by Blackley County's defense. He, he'll but probably have no game right now. Right Maybe right one. Side. Coming down toward Maybe two minutes. Give him one yard and call it second and nine. Ball placed at the 32 yard line. Ball control has become ever important for yep. the Dublin Fighting Irish. Second down, nine yards to go. Ball on the 32 yard line. Yeah, right now they just want to run the ball and keep the clock moving. Got to get down to almost the 22. Mid oh, great uh, fake by uh, Great fake. All the way down to the five yard line. Great play by the quarterback. Mm -hmm. Nearly scored. That was a great call. Everybody bit on the run fake. He was able to just peel off to his left. Rodriguez Martin with a great run right there. That's he might be our yeah. offensive player. I of think the game. that's four big, at least four big runs he's had in this game, including one for a touchdown. Of course, he got one of the offensive players of the game trophies last week. Yep. There's a handoff to, uh, I believe that's. Mitchell Jones or Jones down to about the one. I've done it again. One of these years I'll get those guys' names right. That was a delayed handoff, and now you're down inside a minute. And Dublin stand at this point really not worried about running the play. They just want the clock running. Get out of here with a very hard fought win. Defensive player of the game. Anybody. Now down under 30 seconds when this ball will be snapped. Oh, nice play by number 54. For yeah, that defense. may be the end yeah, of the game right that'll there. That'll be your last, final play of the game. The Irish win a very hard fought game night at Shamrock Bowl over Blackley County. Your final score, Dublin 19, Blackley County 6. In 2011, we had a really bad snowstorm and we were out of power for six days. 
and we couldn't find a hotel to go to that would accommodate the family and the dog. We lost hundreds of dollars worth of steak and hamburgers and things like that that we had in our freezer downstairs. And once Hurricane Sandy hit in this area, it was very, very traumatic for everybody. But thanks to the Generac 20 kilowatt generator that we have, we, you know, we barely noticed it. We have heat, we have air conditioning, we have all of it. The world around us was very chaotic, but in our home, we were, felt very safe and secure. I'd be more than happy to buy, buy it again. You know, it's, it's one of the best investments I've ever made in this house. Don't ever get caught in the dark again. Call the City of Dublin Natural Gas today. 0% financing and we'll just add it to your bill. The City of Dublin Natural Gas, the smart choice. Hi, my name is Sydney Price with Dublin City Youth Council, your at-large representative. Hello, my name is Lucy McCray and I represent in Ward 2 for the Dublin City Youth Council. And did you know that natural gas is half the price of electricity? And now let's go down to the field for our players of the game. All right, we're back at the Shamrock Bowl for our defensive player of the game, Jaquez Evans. Jaquez, you had the key play late in the fourth quarter. You tipped a pass from their quarterback, Lassiter, to yourself, big interception. Coach, coach told me throughout practice, he said, I feel like you getting one. And then came out capitalized and I got one. Yep. And it couldn't have come at a better time. We were hanging on late in that fourth quarter. Extremely hard fought game. Great game by your defense. That's a very high powered offense to hold them to six points. Yes, sir. Coach Holmes, coach Holmes always told me big player made big, big plays in big games. Now. You sure did. Made a big play in a big game. Our, our uh, City of Dublin Natural Gas Defensive Player of the Game, Jaquez Evans. Congratulations. Thank you. And we're back at the Shamrock Bowl. Our Offensive Player of the Game, courtesy of City of Dublin Natural Gas, Rodriguez Martin, quarterback. Great game, Rodriguez. Very hard fought game with Blackley County. They had a not good defense, hard hitting. You had at least four big runs, one for a touchdown. Of course, a big run late in the game to ice the game. What was the key to your being able to pick up those big runs tonight? My offensive line, they, they blocking. They've been practicing all week, blocking hard, blocking everybody. Man, that was the whole key. What was the game plan as far as were you looking to run the ball? You also had some big throws tonight. Just what running it? down their throat. That's all we wanted. Great job tonight. Great job by you leading the team. Big win. Very hard fought. Congratulations. Thank you. Hello, I'm Royce Hall, engineer and drafter with the city of Dublin. I would like for you to know that the city provides natural gas to Dublin, East Dublin at half cost of electricity. Start saving today. Zero percent financing and we'll just add it to your bill. Start saving today. It only makes sense. The City of Dublin Natural Gas. 